Hey, Paul here for Retro Gaming Arts, and today we're gonna to be talking about this FM sound chip modded Sega Master System. That also happens to have S-Video. So, how does it work? You have a switch on the back, and when you push it down, you have PSG sound, up is FM sound, and you also have the S-Video jack. Now, the PSG sound, it was the SN76489 chip. This chip had three channels, and then one noise channel, and it's very, very simple because on the three, there's square wave channels. So that's a sine wave added up multiple times to equal a square wave. And you can only have three square waves at once. And the more complicated the chip, the more square waves you have equals the better sound. Now the YM2413 chip is the Japanese Mark III version, which was more native in Japan, and you could also get it for the Sega Mark III as an add-on. In America, we didn't get it. And that chip has nine channels, and each channel is capable of having two different square waves on it. So you get a lot more complex sound. And uh, so we modded, well, you can get these chips, and we modded it directly into the Sega Master System, and now we're gonna go and take a sound comparison of the two. So you hear how the PSG sound is much more beeps and boops, and the FM sound is much more synthesized. That's because of the additional channels and the fact that each channel can have multiple square waves on it. The more oscillators you have in a sound chip, the more complicated square waves you can create. And in case for the PN PSG sound, since there isn't a lot of oscillators, the math has to be a little bit more complicated. It's all beeps and boops. So the music is composed, and then after it's composed, it's turned into code, and that code is put onto the cartridge. And then when the cartridge is put into the console, the sound chip translates that code into the music that we hear. And that's just really cool that that happens. So the FM chip having multiple uh, different channels in each channel can have at least two signal generators per channel and then when all of them are oscillating at a different frequency and then layered one on top of the other that's what creates the, um, the, the complex sounds that you hear and then also when you add in a noise channel when you have the noise which is just it's a sound being played at all different volumes that's what creates that's where you can make like a flute instrument or a guitar or a saxophone or whatever it may be so when the games were programmed all games got a psg soundtrack but not every single game got an fm soundtrack i think about half of the sega master system library got an fm soundtrack so that's just one thing to point out and to note is that this mod or in this chip does not support every single Sega Master System game. It only supports half of them. So I hope you enjoyed this sound comparison and a little talk about sound chips in general. And if you uh, enjoyed this video, feel free to subscribe to the channel. I do all sorts of different videos like this, whether it be console mods, talking about games, playing games, showing games. This whole thing was recorded in S-Video and I modded it to do S-Video and things like that. So either way, thank you very much for watching and thank you for all your support and I'll see you next time.